Greetings fellow men, Servus Männer, this is Red Bull Germany again and today I want to do a follow up video on my video on the Austrian elections because there has been some news and uh, it ties in nicely with other topics discussed on my channel. This story really makes us realize in what kind of times we're living today in the western world. Okay, so briefly what has happened. In my last video on the Austrian elections I already mentioned that the Green Party did luckily not make it into the Parliament, the Nationalrat, anymore because um, Peter Pilz, a founding member of the Green Party, had a falling out with the rest of the current leadership of the party and he founded his own party. Now he got more votes than the entire rest of the Green Party under these incompetent fat men and these women and so he made it into the parliament with his own new party. Now they called that uh, his revenge on the Green Party but now the Green Party strikes back. So the new thing that happened is that a news outlet um, discovered or actually they were uh, told that um, there have been um, rumors or accusations, internal accusations of sexual harassment. So apparently Peter Pils for many years has um, harassed or well, made a woman who worked for him feel uncomfortable under his service. He said that this woman actually, who is still anonymous by the way, we have no idea who this woman is and what has actually occurred, but he said that that woman was not promoted as fast as she had wished to be promoted. So she confronted him and he said, uh, I can't promote you. Then she basically called in sick while being paid she basically stopped working while she was still being paid. Sounds familiar to anyone? Women getting paid yet they're not doing the work that they're paid to do? Now if all this didn't help she came up with these sexual harassment accusations and once again there was never a police report, nothing official, just internal documents so apparently this woman just complained to the party officials or to other co-workers that he apparently did something. Huh? So it's all hearsay. But of course we live in the age of hashtag me too. So several other anonymous women uh, talk to the media now and they say oh yeah he treated me weird or he harassed me you know. So now he actually says that he will not become a member of parliament. Get this. This man founded his own party, he got elected, he was elected to be an MP and now he just says because of some internet rumors he will not become an MP. So either all that stuff is true and for years and years these women didn't care to go to the police or make it official or do anything against him but now that he went out of the party yeah, he uh, turned his back on the Communist Green Party and now he's a target, now he's fair game, right? Or the other um, option is, the other alternative is that all these claims are exaggerated or even fabricated entirely and all it takes is some stupid internet rumor, some fabricated media hoax to block an elected member of parliament from actually becoming an MP. Now this is just the times we're living in, right? And I really wonder what else needs to happen before these courageous allies of feminists, you know, these male feminists on the left side of the political spectrum, when they realize that all their lip service and all that um, servitude to the feminine will not help them. They can be as emasculated, as effeminate and as cucked as they want to be. Um, it will not save them in the end. And also those traditionalists on the right side, I mean it's not like they are being spared. They also must come to realize that nowadays a woman can just make up a story and end your career, put you in jail or even get you murdered on the street by just saying you did something or didn't do something. This is how crazy it has become already. And I just thought that this story from Austria was very interesting and very instructive in this sense to show that either in these political parties they completely turn a blind eye on these ongoing affairs, you know, if they get wind of it, just because he brings in the votes and he's a famous guy, 
They would ignore all these things and they would even silence people who want to talk to the media. And on the other hand, of course a lot of these stories are invented. For all we know, these anonymous victims uh, don't even exist. Yeah, It's all made up by the media. Or it's a hoax by some Green Party person who uh, is angry at that guy and um, they um, yeah, talk to the media and they all fabricated this. Might also be the case. In any event, I don't feel any pity for that guy because um, yeah, he was a good ally for feminism for all those years. He's also a commie and I don't feel any sympathy for people like that. So towards the end of the video I briefly want to tell you what I think a good man should do in the 21st century, how to live a just life and avoid these rather nasty situations. So first of all, be polite to women. Be polite. No, don't be creepy. Be polite. Treat them normal. But never be alone with them. Don't go on a business trip with them alone. Don't be at a hotel room with them alone. Don't be ever alone with them. And also, don't teach them. You know, don't take them under your wings when you're an older man because they want your job. Keep a safe distance. Surround yourself with other men. You should still work constructively together with women, but don't teach them. Don't become their tutor. You should keep a polite distance to these women. Starve them out, so to speak. If you do that thing right, nobody can accuse you of anything. Always be prepared to present a matter-of-fact reason, uh, some technical reason or some very innocent reason of why you work together with that man rather with that woman. Don't do a woman's work, don't help her and don't become her simp, especially in the workplace. And even without me doing this video, obviously, men are waking up to that truth. I mean, how many of these celebrities or these famous rich people do we need to be made examples of? How many more do we need before we realize what's going on? And that you should just do what I described. Stay away from women. Don't be alone with them. Don't teach them. Don't um, take them under your wings. You should teach men and you should surround yourself with men at the workplace. If you have a choice, if you have a say, if your opinion is at all valued at your workplace, use it to further the career of other men. At least these men will not make fake accusations against you when they want to have your job. But this video is actually a cheerful one. Because while the left is destroying itself, Sebastian Kurz from the ÖVP is busy forging a coalition with the Austrian Freedom Party. Alright, so I hope that you found this story from Austria helpful. Let me know in the comment section below if stories like that happened in your country too. Of course not when you're from the US. We know all about your stories by now. I mean, maybe if you're from Hungary or Poland, or Romania, I don't know. So all of you, no matter where you're from, I hope you enjoy the weekend, and have a great day. Servus, Kameraden.